Hey folks, how y'all doing out there today? I hope everything's going well for you. I've been doing pretty good, plugging away on the new Outback Heavy Holland map, which is now named Evans Head. Now before I get into this too much, the first thing I want to do is a big shout out to Sigfredo Ortiz, who left me a donation today and I appreciate it so much. Thank you for that and definitely made me smile today. Evans Head is actually a place I've been to in Australia a couple times. I really like the little town, so I figured I would go out and use it. If anyone's wondering, uh, my Coffs Harbour map is another place in Australia that we had family that I've been down to a few times and kind of liked and figured I'd use the, uh, the name in a map. So that's how this one ended up as Evans Head. Now, what we are doing out here today is we're going to complete the contract that builds the racetrack, or sorry, the drag strip. Racetrack's not the right term at all. And we are actually out using the GWC 1989-9900 Gollum. And it's actually a truck that's really grown on me the last little bit. I tried it out right when I was one of the first videos building this map. And I've actually quite enjoyed it. So this is going to be the biggest load that I have hauled with this truck. And we're going to do one run on the paved roads. And then we're going to do another run with it on a dirt road run. See how we get through with the 8 slot trailer. Uh, both have their difficulties and dangers. Where pavement you can get ripping pretty good. You know what happens then. Especially with cargo. And then the off road. I have a feeling that we're going to have some issues getting through some of the hills and so on with this great big long trailer. Have hauled the uh, step deck and I think a sideboard and hadn't had any real trouble with hang ups with those but I can only imagine what this trailer is going to be like. First time pulling something this big down for sure. Now can't lie these hills can get uh, you can see here it can get a little bit sketchy I haven't really done many high speed runs but we all know the fun of snow runner roads asphalt roads uh, this truck actually handles it pretty well I'm running along I have the nine speed gearbox and I have the military tires uh, top of the line engine because we're hauling a fair bit of weight and it actually Surprisingly does pretty well for traction. I can get up to 8th, ninth gear. I find a real big key to staying more in control is uh, I know the Xbox controllers, they have the, uh, the triggers that if you don't hold it all the way down, so in theory you're not giving the engine full throttle, you'll kind of maintain a speed and the wheels won't over push the truck and it just seems to if you can hit that fine balance it seems to make the highway driving a little better although I don't think it's obviously ever going to be what we want in this game but I guess you got to give and take now you'll notice if you've played the map that some of the loading places are a little bit tight and I intentionally did that on this map uh, just to add challenge in fact when you go in and get a boiler you can't take a trailer like this in when I was testing I loaded two with a crane and drove them out and loaded on this big trailer to make the long trip in one or the uh, two deliveries in one run now what we're uh, going to do here is we're going to deliver these special containers and they were just the best item I could use to deliver the asphalt in quotations because they don't really have a good cargo for it I'm not going to use that 770 trailer uh, two reasons DLC and I still don't know if any mod trucks have that saddle to hook onto that trailer but not driving that big truck all the way across this map twice because this is going to take eight of them to make the drag strip now if anyone's seen in the other video what i've done is i've actually laid down bridges now we all know there is significantly more traction on the bridge models because they're just simple models that don't have to be dynamic or move or anything uh, so what i've done is basically flatten out the ground laid them just high enough above the ground 
that uh, it kind of looks like a road smooth transition on it and really hoping that the drag thing might be a little bit more fun for especially in multiplayer against friends uh, if you can actually keep the vehicle on the road so I would love to hear anyone's opinion on the uh, the new take on the drag strip if it'll be a little bit more fun I know it's not for everyone but it is fun to kind of throw in there and add a couple tasks now as I said this trip we're gonna take the main highway back gonna be probably just as dicey on the way back hitting that balance of speed and not winging out on the hill there is guardrails but all sorts of chaos could happen I expect to see some videos eventually I'm gonna let it go pretty good here I find with this truck so far if you kind of run it in high going down the hills it'll coast pretty good don't tap the brakes if at all possible because that really upsets things and we'll see if we can hang on here not gonna lie it is quite tense that may look pretty smooth but I was on the edge the whole time there <laughs> of if the truck was gonna let go or not so yeah I think it's gonna add kind of a nice dynamic you have this long paved asphalt run if you want to take it and there is quite a few options to get over over there on dirt roads we're gonna do one later on in the video here for anyone that wants to hang around and just kind of watch the biggest reason I'm doing this test right now is um, I was notified in the comments that when you completed this task it didn't give you the task giver zone to build the shop behind it um, which is going to be another another little job to do. There's a few things that are close and a few things that are far. Just wanted to let everyone know with this single map version is there's going to be a lot more to do in the region version. The way I see it, this map is mainly going to be for the Switch players because they are not going to be able to get the two map region I'm pretty sure that every other console should be able to have it approved just fine with two maps unfortunately it seems like switch is only capable of a single map it's just one of those I guess you gotta take what you get in the situation but that is why I put out this single map version it's these tasks are going to be in the region version it's just there's going to be a lot more to do there's some buildings that I have made look complete in this version that are going to be tasks there's going to be a lot more map to map interaction and really just a lot more to do in the map so anyone who's not on switch sorry guys girls everyone on the switch players anyone that's a little concerned about not that much playthrough time when I join this with the other map there's going to be a heck of a lot more to do there's going to be more there's going to be some of these houses utilized for deliveries things like that that I have uh, just haven't implemented on the single map version because they're not going to work with the whole scenario so stick around I'm going to be putting the work in on getting the region put together now I'm gonna call this map done again if you find any issues or anything that doesn't seem to be working or looking right let me know I'm really hoping that this is gonna be the last update of this version of the map and my focus is now going to be towards getting the region done so anyways stick around I should have some videos of that coming up soon. Most of it's going to be task building with some minor changes in the world. But the bulk of the work is done because the two maps are finished. They just need a little tweaking to make them work together. So right now we've got half this task done. If you want to hang around and watch me bring the other four across. I'm going to do a jump just over to the factory and we'll leave from there. Head down one of the dirt roads. Probably get hung up and stuck a bunch of times, but got a test, right? Thank you so much for hanging around. I appreciate anyone that spends the time making a comment, any of that great stuff. And just keep it coming because it keeps me motivated. Thanks for watching, everyone.